Good morning, everybody, and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So uh, Friday was a fairly massive day, uh, sort of a what's that? One point six percent moves the downside, and the bad news right now is the futures market is down another percent based on some noise coming out of the U.S. So I suspect we're more than likely looking for that area of support and that's two percent down so that definitely would be the one area the other area is going to be in amongst there you can see these tails here which is uh, basically our inside tails and that's one five three five three so if we start moving down to the time frame it's a most of last week was a bit of a shambles and then it was only really Friday where we got this uh, bit of a sell-off happening. So for me at the moment, uh, definitely looking like a half-decent retracement right now. And uh, for, if you just come back to the daily, you know, technically we're still in an uptrend. You know, we've got some resistance here. We start dropping below this area here. And there's my inside tail there. So we start dropping below 14.831 then you are looking at a move down to 14139 and obviously 1400 being a round number and there is a gap down there there's a gap down there that would be well, there's a couple of gaps down there actually so first one is down here at 13796 and then we have 13425 so definitely merit for you know sort of a move down but you know there's a lot of support to the left so don't get just too carried away just yet um, you know if you look at the three hour the trend has reversed and uh, obviously we're not trading the three hour we're trading the one hour so on the one hour the trend has reversed as well so you should be looking to sell but you don't want to be jumping in and just selling you want to be selling off resistance and um, that way you're going to keep your stop really tight in case it does flip against you remember markets are designed to go up not down so um, this is just see it as a retracement you see you need to be looking you want to capitalize on retracement uh, wait for the pullback on structure get in on that tight stops and uh, you take profit at every single level to the downside because one of these levels people are going to start seeing value and when they see the value they're going to start piling um, sort of piling back into the market so we've also got the feds coming out uh, later this week wednesday so expect more volatility i suspect we're going to have a little bit of a, a strong move to the downside probably big gap down today and then a bit of a range i don't see any catalyst that's going to drive us to the upside and looking at the forest markets the dollar is looking really strong as well which is going to impact this market so and I can't really give you anything on the 15 minute to be honest. Uh, we are going to have a massive gap down today. So we're probably down into this 15.350 area. I'll tell you where we are now. Uh, we are currently sitting at 15.338. So we are 1% down. 15.338, which is pretty much down here that's 15353 so we're fairly close to that so 15338 is where we are right now and I suspect we're going to drop a little bit more um, the, the S&P VIX is uh, yeah that's five percent up at the moment so that's just in, in indicating that there is massive volatility right now so yeah, I think wait for the gap down. Hopefully there's some kind of retracement onto structure. Make sure your structure is drawn in. Now the closest bit of structure that I would want to be willing to sell off is 15449. That is the only area that I'm looking to sell off, not looking for anything else. So I'm looking for a move back to 15, sorry, 155. I'm lying to you, hold on a second. Just check it there. Yeah, so one of these two levels, you can see there's a lot of interaction here where we closed. So 15,500 area is what I would be expecting as a move. So this is definitely something which I pay attention to, 15,550. And then obviously 15,500 would be the other one. So gap down, come back and test this area up here. Definitely look for an opportunity to be short looking for the next level down, which is 15,140. 
Okay, so anyway, that's kind of my view at the moment, starting to look uh, relatively bearish for a bit. And uh, obviously we want to capitalize on that, but uh, not so sure how far it's going to fall, but that's easy to to pick. And uh, we'll just make sure that the stops are tight. That's what we do. Anyway, um, hope that helps and we will catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.